In this quick video, we're going to show you a couple of different steps on how you can delete viruses on your iPhone. If you think that your iPhone has been infected with a virus and you want to remove it, then stay until the end of this video because we'll give you a step-by-step -step on what you should do. You may have been on some sketchy websites in the Safari or Google Chrome web browsers, and you may have downloaded a virus that tries to steal your personal information, credit card information, or other stuff. Or you may have gotten a virus by clicking on some links that someone sent you via the iMessage app, Telegram, or even emailing platforms like Gmail or Yahoo. The first step is to delete and uninstall any suspicious apps that you may have downloaded from the App Store. If you see some app on the phone which you didn't download, or if you've downloaded an app that has bad ratings or only a couple of ratings, then it's a good idea to uninstall that app from your phone. Maybe that app has some virus in it and it tries to steal your information, credit card number, or other stuff. So we don't recommend installing any applications that you are not familiar with, because they may cause problems for you and your iPhone. Another thing that you can do is to open the settings on your iPhone, then scroll down until you can see the Safari section and click on it. After that, we will scroll a little bit down until you can see this Clear History and Website Data option. This is going to clear all the different websites that may have something malicious, and it will also clear all the data. So you can clear the data from today only, and that will delete the websites and the data that you visited from today. But I like to clear the history from all time, so I'm sure I don't have any websites which I visited a couple of days ago that were malicious or suspicious. And make sure that this Close All Tabs option is enabled. When we clear all of our Safari history, the browser will automatically close all of our tabs and websites, which we have opened currently. The third solution, which I have for you, is to go over to your Files app and see the recent downloads, and you may have a virus there. So open your Files application, then go to the Recent section, and this is where all of your recent downloads will be. If you see any file which you didn't download, like a zip file, a HTML file, or other, then it's a good idea to remove or delete that because that may be a virus. So if you see some files in the Recents folder, the Downloads folder, or other sections of the Files app that are not familiar to you, and you know you didn't download them, then make sure to delete them. You can delete a file by long pressing it, and then select the Delete button. Clear out any file that you don't need and that you don't recognize. And when you do, you need to go over to the Browse section. Open the Recently Deleted folder, and then delete the file from here also. You can clear all of you recently deleted files by tapping on the three dots at the top right corner of your screen, and then select. Select the files which you want to remove and click on the Delete button. This way we'll be sure to delete and remove all of the files from our Files app that we don't recognize, and some of those may be a virus. Make sure that you visit the Downloads folder in the Files app, because that's where most of our Safari and other downloads are going to be imported. If these two or three steps didn't fix your problem and you still think you may have a virus, then follow my next step because this will definitely solve your problem. We will go over to our iPhone settings and then we will tap on our Apple ID name at the very top in order to open these settings right here. Open iCloud. Then iCloud Backup and make sure that you enable the iCloud Backup feature. When this is enabled, you have to make sure to back up your iPhone data, like the photos, contacts, and other data that you need. You have to make a backup of your data because we will be erasing this iPhone and restoring it to its factory settings. If you're not sure how you can do this successfully and back up every single file and document that you need, make sure to watch the video tutorial which I will put in the description down below. I'm going to leave a video where they will explain to you how to back up your data via iCloud Backup and restore it afterwards. This step is pretty important because we will delete all of the data from our iPhone in the next step. So make a backup of all your data, and let's go to the next step. We will go back to our main settings page, then open the general section. Scroll all the way down to the bottom until you can see this transfer or reset iPhone, and then tap on this erase all content and settings. You will then follow the on-screen instructions and go through the process of deleting your iPhone completely. I won't show you these steps because I don't want to erase my iPhone, but if you do want to reset your iPhone to its factory settings, Simply follow the instructions and erase all of the data you have. After this step, your iPhone will be like new and you won't have any viruses on it anymore. Just make sure you back up your iPhone before this step so you don't lose your data, photos, contacts, and other stuff. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.